emissions from burning fuels, industrial combustion and other pollutants mean that over 90% of the world is breathing bad air. According to the World Health Organization, these emissions have an adverse effect on people's health and inventors are trying to find new ways to reduce their concentration in the air. The latest of these inventions is the world's first giant outside air vacuum cleaner, which has been revealed at a conference in the Netherlands. The large purifying system is intended to filter out toxic tiny particles from the atmosphere surrounding the machine. It's a large industrial filter about 8 meters long, made of steel placed basically on top of buildings and it works like a big vacuum cleaner, said Hank Borsen, a spokesman for the Infinity Group which unveiled the system in Amsterdam. The system is said to be able to suck in air from a 984-foot radius and from over 4 miles upwards. It can treat 800,000 cubic meters of air an hour, filtering out 100% of fine particles and 95% of ultra-fine particles. The company said these figures were the result of tests carried out by the Energy Research Center of the Netherlands on its prototype. A large column of air will pass through the filter and come out clear, Borsen told AFP. Speaking on the sidelines of a major two-day offshore energy conference in Amsterdam, fine particles are caused by emissions from burning wood and other fuels as well as industrial combustion and have adverse effects on health, according to the European Environment Agency. As for ultra-fine particles, they are released by emissions from vehicles as well as airplanes, according to Infinity, and can damage the nervous system, including brain cells, and also cause infections. Governments, businesses and airports are already interested in the project. Mr. Borson said, 9 out of 10 people globally are breathing poor quality air, the World Health Organization said in September. The staggering report called for dramatic action against pollution that is blamed for killing more than 16,000 Brits and 6 million people worldwide every year. The data in a report from the UN's global health body is enough to make all of us extremely concerned. Maria Nera, the head of the WHO's Department of Public Health and Environment, told reporters another air purifying system called the Smog Free Tower was installed in Beijing last month and launched by the Dutch artist Don Roosgaard. Using patented ozone-free ion technology, it can clean up to 1,059,440 cubic feet of air an hour as it blows past the tower, collecting more than 75% of the harmful particles, Studio Roosgaard said in a statement.